गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल फाइन ओके दिस इज द फिफ्थ वीडियो फिफ्थ लेक्चर ऑफ द सेम टॉपिक और द सेम चैप्टर द हॉट राइस प्ले ओके वेन एवर इन एनी लैंग्वेज वी रीड एनी चैप्टर सो इट इज नॉट आर ओनली आर मोटो टू रीड द चैप्टर एंड सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन आंसर नोट इट डाउन एंड लर्न एंड मेमराइज इट नो वट इज आर मेन टारगेट आर मेन टारगेट इज टू लर्न दैट लैंग्वेज to learn what so ever we can take from that uh, full chapter means so there are so many new words some hard words how to pronounce them how to spell them and what is the correct use uh, where we should use that words in our daily life that is uh, what we need to learn from that chapter so slowly uh, slowly slowly or gradually we are coming to point by point just like in our previous video we have discussed about the question answers extra questions reference to the context okay now we are moving towards some different type of exercise which is given in your book means after the chapter we found some exercises just like this is listening exercise which is to be done on the smart board we'll do it later speaking exercise where you need to speak okay you need to uh, use that words which we have learned from this chapter now come to pronunciation part just like in pronunciation part i brief you yesterday that some of the uh, regarding some of the vowel sounds there are some letters just like in english alphabet we have 26 letters okay a b c d e f up to z we have how many 26 but out of this 26 only 5 letters are there which are used as vowels okay vowel sounds just like a e i o u okay these are 5 but the vowel sound sounds are more than 5 in hindi we have 12 a a e e u u a i o a u am aha so like that with the combination of these five letters we further uh, make some new vowel sounds of hindi just like combination of double e we make a badi e ki matra okay डबल ओ बड़े ऊ की मात्रा ए आई आई की मात्रा ए ए यू आउ की मात्रा सो दिस कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दिस फाइव वी कैन मेक फर्दर मोर वोवेल्स सो लाइक दैट वी नीड टू प्रैक्टिस हियर रीड दीज वर्ड्स अलाउड पेयर द वर्ड्स विथ विथ विच हैव द सेम हाईलाइटेड वोवेल साउंड पेज नंबर सिक्स this last line okay there are 10 words given here and in this 10 words some letters some vowels some letters are in green color which are vowels okay so the letters which are in green color they are highlighted so these highlighted letters used here is a vowel sounds they produce some sounds so the the spellings the words which have the similar sounds so we need to pair it up means these two spellings have similar uh, vowel sound so we will note down this in pair first pair second pair third pair fourth pair and fifth pair so in five pairs you will write two two words means 10 words we have to classify so if you know what is the right pronunciation of these words then only you will be able to relate the words just like scarred now this is a word scarred there is a difference between scared and scarred okay you may be confused that scared that is scared dara hua fearful okay sometimes if we see some danger animal that we scare after seeing it now what is the difference between scared and scarred 
If you notice here in scared we have used a single R, but in scarred we have used double R. So that is the uh, difference in the spelling and pronunciation as well. Here we pronounce this A is this sound A scared this matra scared. But here we pronounce the same. Is a ah, scar, scar, scar means scar means there are some uh, type of uh, wounds or deep wounds of a very uh, back time, back in time when you have any cut on your faces. That time you have some scar, some mark. That is called gehre ghao wounds. That is called scars. Some some of the people they have so many scars on their body which they have got um, met an accident in the previous time so many years ago now they have scars on their body okay soldiers soldiers warriors they have so many scars on their bodies okay the the mark of the wounds so that is called scar now can you find the similar word which is pronounced is similar to here just like scar move plate quack chain dull walking floor choose scullery now scar ska means the pronunciation is a ah. the sound is a ah. if you see walking you see walking w a l k l is silent here a is again pronounced like a ah. walk wa here ska here wa so this these are these two words are similar so walking now we can make a pair this is the first pair scar walking second pair move M O V E move here this O it is used as the Hindi matra U move okay so we need to find out the word which is just similar choose choose now these double O is also produce the same sound just like bada U in Hindi so Choose. Now we can relate these two words. This is the pair where O produce the same sound like double O. Okay. Third pair. Plate. P L A T E. Plate. Here A is highlighted. Now A produces the same sound just like here in scared. A ki matra hai na? A play plate. Now we need to find out just like chain. C H Ch C H Ch A I. Now this combination of two letters we produce this sound. I chain chain. No, you might have seen the chain, iron chain. Okay. <clears throat> this is the third one. Then fourth. Fourth pair is squawk. You know what is squawk? Squawk means it is a sound. Squawk. Now, the combination A and W. Combination of A and W. This makes the sound A. Oh. Squawk. Squawk. Just like this. A. Oh. Okay. Squawk. Squawk means the sound which is uh, produced by birds. Sometimes birds they shout. So that chirping of the birds. That sound produced by the birds. That is called squawk. Okay. Chahe chahana. Chikna Pakshiyo Dwara. Now the similar is floor. 
F L O U R fraud again fraud fraud means the powder of wheat okay gehu ka aata that is called flour so here a w and here o u they produce same sound so we can make a pair fifth one is dal d u w l now u is a sound a which produces the sound of a dal and skull s c u w l e r y scullery here again this produces the same sound a scullery scullery where is, what is the scullery you know scullery is the small room or small area at the back side of our house where the ladies generally wash the dishes or wash the clothes just like the some area beside the kitchen where the person or the lady uses to wash the dirty things there just like dirty clothes or dirty dishes or dirty utensils so that area is called scullery so now you can similarly check the similarity of the sound produced by the vowels so this is how we need to learn the pronunciation now all these 1 2 3 4 5 pair you need to note down here with pencil don't use pen this is pencil okay you can check this is a pencil not a pen so use only pencil always use pencil to note down here so this thing you note down here in the pair only in the book no need to note down in the pair notebook only in the book so that much you can do now after pronunciation we come to the vocabulary dear students vocabulary is very much important for any language whether it is hindi sanskrit or english vocabulary means word power as many as new words you can learn you will have a good hold on that language okay vocabulary vocabulary means the good word power more and more new words which you can learn so that you can use those words in your daily life okay so vocabulary it is very much important many words in english language are formed by combining two words together in this chapter we have also seen that there are two different words when they are combined now after combining these two words there is a new word so the production of these two words by combining two small small words that is how we can produce the new words look at these examples from the story now in this story itself we found some new words by the combination of two other words for example stronghold okay there there was one word stronghold now this is the combination of two words what are the two words one is strong and the second is hold now when we combine these two words we found a new word that is called stronghold strong plus hold stronghold just like under plus stood under plus stood when we combine these two words we found new word understood third battlefield one word is battle the other word is field the combination is battlefield anything any plus thing means anything so like that we can form the new new words in the language such words which are formed by joining two words are called compound words dear students when we combine two different different two small small words and make a new word that new word is called compound words note that the meaning of the compound word is different the meaning of the 
combination the meaning of the new word is different from the meaning of the individual words that make it up for example strong strong the meaning of strong means very very much powerful that is called strong plus hold hold means when you hold something just like i am holding this pen in my fingers or my hand that is called hold that is my grip that is hold now strong plus hold now the new word which is formed by this combination of these two words strong hold strong hold strong hold has the different meaning strong holds means the places where i am very much stronger that place is called strong hold my plus points my strong points okay so these type of places are called strong hold okay strong hold so like that now we have given some pair of words now what we need to do we need to combine them we need to make them with uh, make the pair with the correct one so that it can produce a new word just like first match the columns to make compound words so we cannot combine with anything anything with anybody okay we need some words which are already exist in english okay just like first is white the first word is white so what we can with uh, with remaining pair of word which can combine it let me tell you white 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 brick white bomb white ring white boot white root white wash yes white wash is a compound word which i know you might not be knowing but this is a new word for you but if you don't know let me tell you white wash means the color which we paint on the walls and the roof during any festival time just like diwali and dashera we white wash our houses okay we use some distemper we, we use some uh, lime stone powder and we mix it with the water and then we apply on the walls that is called chuna chuna in the earlier time the houses were painted with the chuna now it is painted with distemper and paints oil paints are also used nowadays so that is called white wash we are white washing our house during the festival time or in any marriage time so white wash so you can combine white plus wash then it will become white wash a new word will be produced so you in the white blank boxes you need to put the serial numbers here we have serial numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now to combine with the correct word we need to put down this serial number just like white white has carries first serial number first so i will note here one number ye now it becomes white wash or you can draw a line with the pencil and scale just like here white wash now the combination white wash next word life life break life warm like ring life boat yes i have heard about this word life boat what is life boat you know in the ships just like titanic okay the big ships which are um floating on the surface of the oceans seas where they have small small so many 200 100 200 small boats so at the time of any accident the people can save their life by life boats that's why to save the lives of the travelers okay passengers they can use in the emergency to save their life that is called life boats so we can combine this second word life 
विथ बोर्ड लाइफ बोर्ड और यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट द सीरियल नंबर नंबर सेकेंड ईयर लाइफ बोर्ड नाउ थर्ड पास नाउ पास ब्रेक पास वॉम पास रिंग पास बोर्ड पास रूट पास वॉश पास वर्ड ये दैट इज अन वर्ड पास वर्ड जनरली वी हैव सम पास वर्ड इन आर मोबाइल्स ऑल्सो to open the mobile we need to apply the password okay so password password you can combine third with this word or you can write three number here also okay password foot foot break fit foot warm foot ring foot board foot root foot board foot word foot print yes i know this word foot print so i can combine this with this word foot print because whenever we Walk. We leave our foot footprints on the ground. Our footprints are marked whenever any anybody passes through here. And if it is a muddy area, muddy road, we leave our footprints on the road. Day, day break. Fifth number we can combine with the first day break. Break means you know. when sun rises in the east in the morning around 6 uh, o'clock in the morning when the sun rises then the darkness uh, goes away and the light light of the sun come the rays of the sun first come then sun appears so that is the break of the day when the sun rises now it is the breaking of the day so that is called day break morning time when sunrise sunrise is called daybreak year year in year we the girls not we only girls they nowadays some boys are also wearing some rings that is called earring year plus ring it becomes earrings girls usually put earrings grass grass you might have seen in the ground grass grass is root also in the deeper into the ground root grass root and book book the last one is remained here second number book warm book warm like this okay now what is the meaning of book warm you know what is book book this is book generally uh, some of the student they like very much reading okay so the students which are always busy in reading a new books okay the children who they like to read more and more books one after another story books any, any type of science experiment books any type of books so the children or the person the elder person also like to read books okay so the person those who like reading books those type of persons are called bookworm worm means insects kide kitabi kida kitabi kida means those who always use their spare time to read new books these type of people are called bookworm kitabi kida ye to mera friend kitabi kida he always read it read, uh, he is always busy in reading books and books so some of the student they have hobby of reading books so we have completed this exercise now let's come to the next exercise number b page number 8 now this exercise we can do in the book itself match the words with their descriptions now in one column we have been provided some words and on the other column we have been provided with some uh, descriptions of that words means the meanings of that words one has been done for you one line is already drew for us now the remaining we need to draw discussion first is discussion this word has come in this chapter discussion now discussion means 
when two or more people they discuss with each other on any topic that particular process is called discussion okay when two or more people they are talking to each other they are discussing to each other that process is called discussion so discussion means a conversation or debate a conversation talking or debate debate means whenever two persons are talking uh, talking on a same topic but one is in the favor and one is in the opposite side one is taking the favor but other is opposing that topic okay so that is called debating about a specific topic that is called discussion proceed proceed that is uh, that word is also used in this chapter proceed proceed means to move forward aage badhte jana proceed now you can combine with the second last line to begin a course of action to begin a course of action to start some action or move forward or move forward aage badhte jana that is called proceed so now you can combine this line second to second last summoned summoned that is another important word which is Uh, learned by us in this chapter summoned so you can match this with the first first line summoned means ordered by someone ordered by someone to come to a place just like chandragupta the king he ordered he summoned his teacher chanakya to his room that is called summoned strategy fourth word is strategy strategy planning careful plan careful plan to achieve a certain goal to achieve some certain target just like chandragupta wanted to defeat his enemy that was the target so the careful planning for that is called strategy planning last word is insisting 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 means forcing somebody to do something insisting keep forcing just like the children they always insisting their parents to get a chocolate okay or to do something what they wanted to to be done by their parents they insisting again and again okay on the same thing so that is called insisting forcing you can combine it with the second line saying or demanding formally formally means strongly some children they are demanding more and more things from the parents and continuously they are demanding repeating the demands formally formally means strongly so that is called insisting they are insisting their elder to do something or to get something now this is all about the vocabulary section okay so in uh, after each chapter we do some exercise just like some of the exercise we have done here some optional type question answers to better understanding some one line or two line small answer type questions then some reference to the context type question where one reference is given then on the basis of that reference or that context we are asked two or three questions that we need to answer that type of question we are able to do when we learn the full chapter who said these words to whom who is the speaker who is the listener this type of questions are memory based questions okay so you should know the full chapter before appearing in the any exam pt1 pt2 pt2 half yearly any exam you need to recall the full chapter okay because there are 20% of the questions which can be asked randomly from the middle of your chapter so you cannot say you cannot say sir uh, that is not uh, written in our notebook so how can we give the answers okay now 
listening exercise after every chapter we have listening exercise we have to listen some audio 5 minute audio on the basis of listening that audio now we are testing this question answer we are feeling this question answer that is to be done on the smart board speaking after listening it is very important to start speaking we should do some this type of action word action uh, work in the class then pronunciation what is the right pronunciation and how to pronounce what type of uh, words okay vocabulary new 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 words how to form the new words that we have learned in the vocabulary section there are two type of exercise we have done now the next part is grammar very important because in any language in any language when we are going to learn so in whether it is hindi sanskrit urdu english in any language we, we have some rules to be followed okay and that type of rules are called grammar so we need to learn the rules as well and that rules we should know if you are knowing the rules you will not make the mistakes of the structure of any language so grammar is very very essential now how to or and uh, where to note down this grammar as i told you in the previous video that we need to prepare 180 or 200 page notebook okay that notebook should be divided into two equal parts 50 50% i hope you have done and in the beginning part in the starting part you the starting half portion of the this notebook should be utilized for your literature literature means chapter and question answers what whatever we have written question answers and extra question answers and word meanings that should be written here now we proceed to the this half second first you divide your notebook like this Okay, you can fold any page to divide the notebook. Then, as you have already made index on the front page for the chapters, similarly here you should draw the index with the help of the uh, pencil and scale. You can draw the index so that on which page number we are writing which type of exercise that is to be written here. just like here you need to note down the grammar of chapter number 1 you need to write here chapter number 1 because this grammar is given in the chapter number 1 so chapter number 1 the topic is noun so you need to note down the noun and the page number from where you start and till where you end up so now this grammar portion what we are now going to discuss or now going to learn you should note down in the second half portion of your grammar part here in index chapter number 1 page number this and the grammar topic is now you need to start from here now this is how you maintain the grammar separately from the literature chapter grammar is also called language portion one is literature portion and second is language portion now in language portion now let's discuss about this grammar a noun what is a noun a noun is the name of a person or an animal or a place or a thing or an idea also the name of any person place animal thing or any idea the name is called nouns nouns can be common noun proper noun concrete noun abstract noun and collective noun these are the five kinds of noun which are mentioned in your book so these things you need to note down in your grammar portion okay a common noun a common noun refers to a person an animal a place or a thing in general in general means commonly which is used commonly for everybody just like boy if if i say that you are boy or you are girl so boy is the word with uh, is the name common name for every boy just like i am also boy you are also a boy your friend is also a boy girl girl is a word which can be used for any of the girl from the world in the world so 
these are the common names but instead of these names we besides of these names we have some proper names also it's like my name is pratap so pratap is my proper noun and a boy or a man or a human these are common names of mine this is my common names but the proper name is pratap just like you your name is boy sometimes your friend call you my best friend so friend is your name okay sometimes your teacher call you student so student is also your common name because the student can be any any of the boy can or girl can be student so student can be used for many people so it is common for all the students teacher teacher can be used for any teacher okay so these are the common names just like dog if i say dog dog is the name common for every dog in the world but if i say tommy now tommy tommy is the name which is properly given by me to this my pet my pet dog its so name is tommy so tommy is a proper name for this particular dog only but dog dog is a common for every dog in the world so this is the difference between common and proper noun now since our time is finished our lecture is over so we will take this topic in the next video till then take care bye